Okay, so I wanted to take a moment and just show off a little bit of what the uh, SSTU mod can do. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite mods um, because it kind of combines the flexibility of procedural parts with much better visual looks. Uh, my biggest complaint with procedural parts is awesome as they are for flexibility in building things is they don't really look all that good, which is fine for the typical Kerbal, stock Kerbal look, but I prefer my stuff to look a bit more realistic, or at least more detailed. And so SSTU kind of does that for me. Uh, I don't have all the parts available here, mainly because this is in a career mode and I haven't unlocked everything. But I just want to show a little bit about how this works, mainly with the fuel tanks, but also show the engines and a couple of the parts as well. Um, so, right, so let's get started. So let's just take a look at a basic first stage engine. Um, you know, normally, well here, let's just throw a uh, probe core in here so we have something. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so normally, start with the fuel tank. So for these types of tanks, we used to have, again, they're the same, it's the, we can, they're real fuels tanks, so you can do whatever you want with them, but it actually has, SSTU has a couple different styles. And this is mainly to represent the fact that uh, the individual tanks inside of a stage are going to be different based on what fuels they have or what propellants they have. So right here you see we have a Carolux tank and we have a Hydrolux tank. And if you look at the difference between them, you will see, and put two of them on here just to make it a little more easy to see. Kind of scoot this up. You can see that what it does in the case of this, is visually you have different proportions. So it kind of represents the fact that, you know, the different densities of the fuel will be different depending on the types of fuel you have in there. Now both of these can hold whatever fuels you want. I mean, that's, that's no different because it has the real fuels integration. But visually it lets you look at it a bit differently. So, so that's the tank. So, okay, well, we want to have, you know, it's a decent looking tank. We've got some... Cool little nernies on here. We got some nice normal mapping going on. We can hide this flag. Don't want the flag. Uh, so let's hold the flag off. Okay, that looks cool. But you can go more. So first of all, like a procedural part, I can change this. I can make it bigger if I want. I can even scale it. I can change the diameter so I can make it bigger or smaller. But I can go more than that. I can change, modularly change parts of this. So for example, I can change the nose here. Whoops. I can change the nose to have different adapters, for example. Depending on what I might be hooking onto this thing. I can even put, you know, things like that. And it's all built into the part. I can go down here the bottom and I can change the mount that you'd have on this. So by default you've got so by default it's got the dome with a skirt and you can see up here as well dome with the skirt but I can also change this to have uh, different engine mounts on the bottom if I want. I don't know why did I put this thing upside down? That is I don't know why I'm getting cones ah there we go Okay, so you can see you got different mounts. So if you want like SLS style mounts, or you want Saturn style flared mounts, or sorry, Nova, or you can put Saturn style cones on the bottom. You can do all sorts of different mounts on here. And then let me real quick, let's just throw a tank, a uh, engine on here. So here we'll throw an E1. Okay, now. It also has a interstage built in. So if I now take a second tank and put that on here, look, it has a skirt, or not sorry, a skirt, an interstage built in. I can make it solid and I can change this here. I can change the, uh, what am I looking for? I can change the fairing texture if I want, different styles, different textures. Uh, you know, so that is built in essentially. And I can even put this interstage on here. This interstage ring, for example, has 
Ollage has solid motor, solid motors built in. You can use them for ollage, or you can use them for uh, retro. You can invert the engines around. As a note on the top and a note on the bottom, so it'll act as a decoupler for you if you want. All right. So it's really, really, really cool. Let's delete these here. I'm gonna delete this one, and then you also have upper stage ones. So if you have, if you want like a Different styles again. You have uh, what's this one? The the so you have the split tank and the um, common bulkhead. You'll see again that it puts a little. Uh, I'm not even sure what you actually call that. It calls it a fairing, but actually it tops off the tank top of it for you if you want. Um, and you can disable that, of course, if you don't want it. You can just leave it like that. You know, I can go in here and I can change dome texture if I want to give that kind of orangey look, right? Uh, this has actually got RCS built into it down here, so I can stick an engine on there, and I've already got RCS taken care of for me. Just got to put like hydrazine in the tank or whatever. Um, and the same things apply here, right? It's got a, it's got fairings, it's got uh, it's got various uh, mounts I can change down here if I want. You know, all that available to me. I can put in, I can put in a, yeah, see, really, really great looking models with all the procedural natures of them. Uh, you can do a lot of things with that. Now, real quick, let me also just take a look at the um, the engines, engine clusters, which is really, really great. So let me just go, and I'm going to find the H1. Where is it? Bear with me a second here. i got to find it. There is somewhere in here. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, yeah. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Right, so this is a uh, SSTU engine, and so I can go into here and uh, I can change the mount size if I want. So I can make it fit up if I want. Well, that's not fitting up, but I can adjust these. So now that you don't have the complete precision of procedural. There are they are increments because it's scaling actual models, but still you can usually get what you want. Um, but I can also say, oh, I don't want all that crap in my engine. Um, I can just take that off, and now I've got just the engine by itself. Uh, or what I say I need I need a couple of these one of these isn't gonna be enough okay well we'll put two of them on there and or maybe you know want to move them up a little bit or pull them back together or you know we want to put a couple more of these guys on there you know here we go I need three three H ones so you know you've got a lot of control over there um, to give you exactly what you're looking for it's it's really really cool All right so anyways that was just a real quick look you know, what SSTU can offer. There's a lot of more cool things it has in here, uh, from pedal adapters to some really cool radio decouplers. You know, it's got lots of cool things, and I actually haven't even unlocked all the parts. Um, support for this in RO and RP0 is is still in still work in progress. So there's actually a lot more still to be done, um, and the the mod itself is constantly constantly being updated and improved and made better additions being made to it so it's a really amazing mod and i uh, definitely recommend you check it out so anyways that was just a quick look at uh, sstu thanks for watching